Um, I miss you. Um, one thing that we get to do, though, is we get to do art together still. So that's that's pretty cool. I hope that you're taking care of yourself. I hope that you're washing your hands. I know that my family and I, we're taking care of ourselves and we're doing very well. Um, today we're going to do a project where we get to create a form from a shape. Basically, that's taking a two-dimensional shape and turning it into something that's 3D. So, I'm going to point you at my paper and tell you about the supplies that you need. You're going to need paper and you're going to need a pencil. It doesn't matter what kind of paper that you get. It can be lined paper, it can be um, white paper, it can be old cardboard. Anything you can draw on is just fine. Step number one, I'm going to draw a large sphere up here in the upper portion of my paper. Um, I'm going to draw, draw very lightly. There are going to be some parts of this that I do need to erase. There we go. Okay, got a little lumpy here and there. I'm going to straighten a little bit of that out real quick. I want this to be fairly round. Here I get a little lumpy as well. There we go. Looking pretty spherical now. All right. So now that I've got that drawn, I have to determine what direction the light's going to be shining on this circle that I've drawn. See, circles don't really have any hard edges. I mean, spheres don't really have any hard edges. So I have to actually show that it's round through shading. In order to shade, I have to determine which direction the light's coming from. So for pretends in this picture, I'm going to have the light coming from the top. Now, you do not have to draw this arrow, but you do need to know what direction you want your light coming from. If the light is coming from the top, that means that a lot of light is shining in here and not as much down here. This is the shadow area, and the curve of the imaginary ball that I'm drawing here, or the sphere, is going to block out some of that light. So I need to darken this area down in here and create a shadow effect. I'm going to use the side of my pencil to do this. I'm really going to respect this line I've drawn down here at the bottom. I don't want to go out of it. If you do, it's not the end of the world. You can come in and erase. Now that's going to represent the darkest area of my sphere. <clears throat> However, as I come up, more and more light's going to be able to hit the underside of this. So I'm going to go lighter and lighter with my shading as I work up. You notice how I'm working around the side here now? Lighter and lighter and lighter as I come up. I got a little pencil on the side of my, a little lead on the side of my pencil. That's wanting to smear off there. I better be careful about that. All right. So I've established the darkest area now. Now this part up here, a, a sphere doesn't have an outline. Okay. So I need to actually take this line away. I'm just going to erase that off of there. It's another reason why you draw a light until it's right. Oh, now we're getting pretty rounded. I noticed this area over here looks a little bit funky, like maybe it's not quite as dark as it should be. I'm going to come in here and darken that up a little bit. Let's work around here. Right down here at the very bottom is going to be the deepest shadow that I have. So I'm going to lay quite a little graphite in next to that. Thank you. 
Still, I'm using the side of my pencil. If you try to use the point, you're going to end up not being able to control how much graphite you're putting down very well. You also notice that I am using an imaginary contour of this sphere. Never am I going across this way. I'm always going with the curve. All right. At this point, you'll notice I have some darker areas here. I don't really like that, but I'm going to blend a little bit. And I'm going to use my finger to blend. Let me get a little better focus here. Come on, focus. That's not focused. One more try. Come on. Come on. A little better. All right. So I'm going to use my finger to blend. And your fingers naturally have some oils on them that make this happen. Once again, I'm going with the contour of my imaginary sphere, swooping my finger along there. Staying out of the areas that I know where that light is shining very bright because I don't want to overpower them and make them be like they're in the shadow. Get a little out of my line with my finger. That's okay. I can come in here with my eraser and I can clean that up. There you have it. Now I have a sphere. One thing about the light shining from the top, though, is that it's it's going to cast a shadow. If I wanted this to sit actually on the paper, the shadow is going to grow right out of my form like this. But I'm going to have mine actually floating above the paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my shadow. It's going to be smaller. And the smaller your shadow, the higher the ball. But my shadow is going to be right down here. And if you think about it, it makes sense. The light is shining on this. But this sphere is blocking the light from shining down here. So now I have my shadow. And with my shadow, I'm going to shade that in a uniform shade. Okay, I'm not going to be looking to... Um, have darker areas or lighter areas. I want it to be all uniform. Like that. A little finger blend in there to really make it uniform. I'm going to come around my edges and give it my little bit of outline there. Clean up around here. And now I have the illusion of a sphere floating off of a piece of paper. One last thing you can do in order to really sell this illusion is you can actually come in here and you can cut part of this out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut along this line and along this line. And you can decide exactly where you want to cut it. And then I'm going to cut out around the top of the sphere. So I don't know how this is going to video, but I'll try to do it kind of under the camera. Now around the top end of the sphere. Really respecting my shape here. Okay, so I've cut like this now, and I'm going to cut right across this line here. And now, get this out of the way. It really sells the illusion of a ball or a sphere floating above something. As another option, you can have your light coming from another direction. And this one, the light is actually coming from this direction. 
So my shadow is under here. And then I cast the shadow over here. So give that a try. If you'd like to share your artwork with me, you can email it to me at lsipo at ccsd1.org. And you can find that, um, my email address, on if you click on my name on the assignment list, okay? All right. Um, let me know how it goes. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye.